Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about bubble sort. We are going to see the bubble, what is a bubble sort and also we are going to see the algorithm which explains the bubble sort technique along with the Java program in BlueJ. So before going to bubble sort algorithm, we are going to see some points to be noted. It is the most widely used uh, for sorting elements in a single dimension array. So it is very popular and it is most widely used uh, sorting technique. The array is sequentially scanned several times. So it starts from the first element, it uh, goes on uh, scanning the elements one by uh, two, two, pair, uh, two, two elements at a time and then it goes in sequential order and it goes on uh, continuing this process uh, several times. The pair of consecutive elements are compared and interchanged. So every time it will take two two numbers and uh, it will compare it. And uh, if the value, if the condition is true, it will interchange the value. That means if the uh, value is to be swapped, it will be done. Okay. It is easy. Uh, it is an easy technique, but it consumes lot of time since it takes two two numbers and checks from the beginning. Okay. It goes on till the end. Okay, it will consume a lot of time to complete the full set of sorting. Now we are going to see the algorithm, that is the technique which is used, okay, here in bubble sort. So you can see a list of elements available. You can see some uh, boxes are given, that is nothing but the elements available in an array. And the index values are given on top, that is 0 to 4, okay, that means you got uh, 5 elements. So you are going to illustrate with this 5 elements. So now we are going to start with the outer loop, that is the first iteration. So elements, how it look like? So this is the uh, order in which the first, uh, uh, before the first iteration starts and what happens after the first iteration. So you're going to see that. So first it will take the first two elements as the, it is a bubble sort technique. It will take the first two elements and it will compare it by using the value, same like your linear search, it takes the uh, two elements that is ARR of 0 will be checked with ARR of 1. So here since you are going to check uh, two two numbers and going to sort it in ascending order, if the first number is greater than the second number, what has to be done? Okay, so first number is greater than the second number. So ARR of 0 greater than ARR of 1. So here it is true. Actually the condition is 7 is greater than 2. So it is true. So what has to be done is you have to swap the values. So that means the second element will go on to the first place and the first element will go on to the second place. So this is the first uh, first iteration of inner loop. Now after this what happens is it will take to the next two pairs that is uh, it will take the uh, ARR of 1 and the element which is stored in ARR of 1 and ARR of 2. So you, again you are checking the con same condition ARR of 1 is greater than ARR of 2 that means the element present here is 7 and 6. 7 is greater than 6. So that's the condition. Again, it is true. So since it is true, you have to swap the value. So you can see that the values are swapped. Okay. Then the next iteration, uh, that is inner loop of iteration, it will go on to the next set of elements. Okay. To a pair of elements. That is 7 and 3. That is error of 2 and error of 3. So error of 2 is greater than error of 3. That means 7 is greater than 3. So since it is true, Again, what you have to do is you have to swap the values, okay? And then you have to go on to the, the last two values, that is, last two pairs, 3 and 4. So, error of 3 greater than error of 4, that is, 7 is greater than 1. So, again, the condition is true. Since the condition is true, what you are going to do is you are going to swap the elements, okay? So, this is the end of the first iteration, okay? So once the first iteration is completed, you can notice one thing, 7 was positioned in the beginning and you can see it is uh, positioned at the last element that is pushed on to the last element after the first iteration. So if, if you take any array elements, the highest value, okay, the largest value will move on to the last position after the first iteration. That means it's already been pushed to the last so that means you no need to uh, execute it again so you no need to worry about the last element that is the meaning so you're going to the second out uh, that is second iteration of the outer loop so inner loop is completed now you're going to the outer loop uh, second iteration of outer loop here you can see that seven has been disabled that means the last element you're not going to bother about it okay 
So you are going to bother about the uh, previous elements which has to be sorted again. So here what you are going to do is you are going to take the first two elements and again you are going to do the same thing. Okay, you are going to compare error of 0 with error of 1 that is 2 is greater than 6. Okay, now here you can see the condition is false. Since the condition is false, you are not going to swap. Okay, it is already uh, already in order. So you are not going to swap. So it will automatically move on to the next two values that is 6 and 3. Okay, the element uh, position here is. Uh, the uh, position value is 1 and 2. So, error of uh, 1 is compared with error of 2. That means 6 is greater than 3. Here, the condition is true. So, since the condition is true, you are going to swap the values. Okay. So, this is what is happening. Okay. After this, you are going to move on to the next element. Okay. Next two uh, elements, that is 2 and 3. So, error of 2 is compared with error of 3. Okay, that is 6 is greater than 1. So, again, the condition is true again. So, since the condition is true, it will swap the elements. Okay. So, this is the after end of the second iteration. Okay. The position values will be like this. Now, uh, since we already discussed that this uh, last element is not going to be touched because it is already, you have pushed the uh, highest, okay, the largest element to the end. So, you are not going to check it again. So, you are going to stop the iteration here itself. Okay. So, here again you can notice. The second largest uh, uh, element has been stored in this after the second iteration. So, the second largest element will be stored in the second uh, second last element. Okay. So, again, you can reduce the iteration in the third, uh, third. that is third iteration. You can see the last two elements are being disabled. The 6 and 7 are the last two, uh, largest numbers in the array. So, you are not going to bother about it. So, you are going to start with the first two elements here, 2 and 3. You are going to check the condition error of 0 is greater than error of 1 that is 2 is greater than 3. The condition is false since it is already in order you are not going to swap it. You are going to move on to the next element that is uh, error of 1 and error of 2. Okay, These two elements are going to be checked. So now you are going to see that the value 3 is greater than 1 so it is true. So since it is true it will interchange that is swap. Okay, So once it is done you know that after the end of the third iteration you can see the third largest element is more moved on to the third from the uh, from the last third position so that means your next iteration you are going to disable the three numbers okay then the fourth iteration you can see only two numbers has to be checked here okay that is actually one other uh, zero and one so the first two elements so you are going to check error of zero is greater than error of one that is two is greater than one so if it is true what you are going to do is you are going to swap the elements. Now you can see that at the end of the fourth iteration, okay, since you have five elements, okay, you will have only four iterations available, right? One less iteration will be taken place for the outer loop, okay? Uh, so now you are, once that fourth iteration is completed, you can see that elements all in order, right? It is already in order, okay? So you can note down that outer loop works only one less uh, iteration. The reason for it is the number of element is 5. The outer loop iteration works only 4 times. So you had already witnessed why it is. Okay. So you, you can reduce the compilation time. That is uh, that the execution time will be reduced every time. Okay. If it is a small array, it don't affect anything. But if it is uh, if it is an array of large elements, if you want to sort the array elements, then it will take long time. So you can reduce the iteration uh, every time so that you, you can narrow the sorting. Okay, that's what is happening here. Now, in BlueJ, before going to execute, we are going to execute the program. We are going to explain you the sorting, that is uh, bubble sort technique alone first. So, we are going to execute, uh, that is explain you the loop statements and then you will move on to uh, execution of the program. So, first, uh, first loop you can see for, uh, that is outer loop. For int i equal to 0, i lesser than ARR of length minus 1, i plus plus. Here, why you use ARR of length minus 1 is already we said if you have 5 elements, it is going to execute only 4 times. Okay. So, outer loop will be executing only 4 times. That's the reason you have put that minus 1. So, 0 to 5 will be uh, will be changed to 0 to 4. Okay. Less, i lesser than 0 to 4. That means it will execute only 4 execute. That is 4 iteration. Now you are going to open the uh, curly braces for the outer loop. Now the inner loop says if uh, for uh, int j equal to 0, j lesser than 
ARR of length minus i minus 1. You would have noticed every time that the inner, uh, inner uh, loop is executed, uh, every uh, outer iteration, you can see the last uh, elements have been disabled. First time it is disabling the first one element. Second uh, iteration, you are disabling the second uh, number. So that means you are narrowing the sorting. So that is done by this uh, this line. Okay, so error dot length minus i. So first time it is zero. Since it is zero, it does not have any effect. So that's the reason you're putting minus one also there. Okay, so it uh, it automatically once the i value increases every time. So uh, a second time i value increases by one. Here it becomes uh, two numbers less. So it will be error of dot length minus one minus one. That means minus two. Second uh, third time it will be two. I value will be two. So it will be two minus uh, minus two minus one. So that is minus three. So it goes on like that. Now you are going to open the body of the inner loop, and then uh, here you can see the condition uh, if ARR of J is greater than ARR of J plus one. So you are it is nothing but the two two numbers. Okay, you are taking pairs of numbers. The first first number is stored in zero, and the second number is stored in J uh, that is J plus one. That is one. If the value of J is zero, J plus one is one. So you are going to compare zero and one. Okay. Once it is compared, if the condition is true, if the num first number is greater than the second number, what you have to do is you are going to uh, interchange. Already you are you know you have learned how to interchange two values. You are going to take one temporary variable and you are going to store the first number into a temporary variable, and then you are going to store the second number into the first number. That is error of j equal to error of j plus one. That is the second number stored into the first number. Now the second number you are going to replace it with the uh, value which is stored in temp. So this is how you are going to sort the element. That is swapping the elements. So this is what. And then you have to close the uh, curly braces for uh, if, then inner for, then outer for. This is the format. The uh, bubble sort technique is. Now you are going to see how to execute the program in BlueJ. Now create a bubble sort uh, program here. So already we explained you the sorting technique. We are going to just go on to the remaining part. So the public class name is uh, bubble sort is given and then you got public uh, public static uh, void main and then you have an array variables so this array uh, variable ARR and it has some values which is already been used in the algorithm that is 72431 which has to be separated by comma and you need a temporary variable to swap the numbers and then you are going to just display that uh, it is a bubble sort. Okay, display it on the screen. And then you are going to display as usual. Uh, we have to, we don't know what is the value stored in the array, so you are going to display the array elements. So you're, first you are displaying the unsorted array, so using the loop statement. So int a, uh, int i equal to zero, uh, i less than or equal uh, lesser than error dot, dot length i plus plus and system out print error of i plus. Uh, then you got a space in between the numbers. So you already learned in the previous video. Now you are going to go to the uh, the sorting part just we just now we explained about how it will be sorted then finally you are going to display the sorted array okay so system of print sorted array uh, int a i equal to 0 i lesser than error of uh, length i plus plus so loop is same and then you are going to display the array variables now it is in sorted order so you are going to compile this program so no syntax errors you are going to execute it since the value is already stored, you can see that bubble sort uh, title has been displayed, unsorted array. This is the actual value stored in array. After the values are sorted, you can see it, has been, it is arranged in ascending order. Hope you understood this video. Uh, we will meet you in the next video. Till then, thank you.